One of the really great things about tables, besides being so powerful, is that they're really portable and you can read and write them from files easily. So let's go ahead and create an example of that. I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways. I like to go into a text editor and just basically type my code in there and save it as a Lua file. So I'll save this as a Lua file, for example, table Lua in my scripts folder of my project and then I can go ahead and call that up using an application load script action. You'll notice that in the application family of script of actions rather there's a couple of script related um, actions load script and run script file in this case I'm going to use load script and I just point it at my table Lua file now I can once I've done that I can just refer to that table as I would any other table in my project for example here we'll test it out with a dialog message and you notice I can just refer to the table as though I had created it within my project I'll go ahead and press F5 to preview that and you can see here it called up 49 which was the second value in my table that I created so that's a really handy way to do it I prefer to use Lua files quite often for a lot of my stuff but let's look at a really easy way to do this much easier than that that most people prefer and we're going to go into our actions wizard here and take a look at the text file family of actions you notice that there's a couple of actions here geared towards reading and writing files to and from tables we've got read to table and write from table so let's go ahead and press cancel first. We'll create a table. I'm going to call it my table and I'm going to make it very very simple. I'm just going to create some numeric values in here and we're going to go ahead and try this out. I'm going to create a text file right from table action by going into our action wizard here and double clicking on it and then I'm going to set up for our file name in our autoplay folder. Don't forget to double slash and we'll go in the docs folder and we'll call it my table dot text. Okay? And we're going to put our table name in here, which is my table with a capital T. And we're going to leave the append area set to false. Now if you wanted to add to the end of an existing file, you would set that to true. But since we want to replace it, and or create it if it doesn't exist we're going to actually leave that set to false so let's press finish and then we can go ahead and run our project and it's going to create a table or rather a text file from our table you won't actually see anything but when you're finished running this project you can go into your project folder right down here and you'll notice there's a file in here called my table dot text and it contains the contents of our table one value to each line. You can open that up in a text editor and view it for yourself. In our case, we're just going to go ahead and test it out by reading it back into our project. So let's erase our code here. That's how you write a text file from a table. And let's look at how you read from a text file. Let's go ahead and enter our action wizard again. And we're going to go to the text file, read to table action. And we're going to point it here at our text file so my table dot text in our docs folder of our project folder I'm going to press OK and it's going to read this into a, a table in this case I'm going to go ahead and rename this result variable to my table and press finish now we'll be able to treat that table just as we would as though it were typed into our project okay so we can access those values just as we would any other table within our project let's go ahead and set up a dialog message box to test that out I'm going to leave the title blank and I'm going to go ahead and just grab a value from there. For example here, value number 2. Let's go ahead and press F5 to preview. As you can see here, it grabbed the number 4 which was indeed the second value in our original table. So that, that just goes to show you how you can very easily read and write tables to and from text files or Lua files if you prefer. And you can actually work out a lot of variations on this. You can store tables basically anywhere you can store text. But this is the easiest way to do it and probably the way that most people do it. So if you like to use the action wizard especially to just be able to click and add actions, you'll really enjoy using the text file read to table and text file write from table actions. So I encourage you to go ahead and check those out and see how they fit into your projects. Let's go ahead to the next lesson.